Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. This week's GOP debate is reigniting the debate about vaccinations after GOP candidate Donald Trump's statement about vaccines and autism. Yeah, during that debate, Trump said he thinks autism rates in children would go down if we use less vaccines. This caused an uproar with presidential candidate Dr. Ben Carson, as well as many others in the medical profession across the country, including here in Acadiana. Carrie Beal has reaction from a Lafayette pediatrician in our top story. The 11 leading Republicans. The GOP candidates were taking stabs at each other throughout Wednesday night's debate, but one statement by Donald Trump pricked a nerve in the medical community. I'm in favor of vaccines. Do them over a longer period of time, same amount. Thank but you. Just in, in little sections. Dr. Car I think, Dr. Carson. And I think you're going to have, I think you're going to see a big impact on autism. The presidential candidate, uh, Donald Trump, was completely unfounded in, in what he said. It's a, it's a shame that he was on a worldwide stage and was spreading such misinformation. There is no evidence whatsoever that vaccines are in any way related to autism. Dr. Brian Sibley, a pediatrician, isn't the only one who disagrees. Presidential candidate Ben Carson also shot back at Trump. There have been numerous studies and they have not demonstrated uh, that there's any correlation between vaccinations and autism. Trump's statement stems from a study in 1998 that linked autism and vaccines. But later that study was retracted because of fraudulent claims and biased participants. Uh, vaccines are important because uh, they prevent diseases which historically have killed and severely disabled children. Dr. Sibley says anyone with more questions about autism or vaccines is encouraged to visit the American Academy of Pediatrics website. In Lafayette, Carrie Beal, KTC, TV3. Here's Rob's 24-hour for.